pictures. Even when they're magnified, it's hard to see their features. They're tiny infinitesimal, so small it makes you doubt. But if you meet a pixie, please don't let their secret out. But if you meet a pixie, please don't let their secret out. But if you meet a pixie, please don't let their secret out. The thermos. Where should I put it? Put what, Tom Thomas? Oh, it's you. Uh, my ice cream. Are you joking? Eat it! I can't. Tom Thomas, are you all right? <laughs> I'm fine. It's just that it's a present for my mom. Today is Mother's Day. Then you need to go give it to her. I can't. Dad and I are going to congratulate her together. What's your dad going to give her? I don't know. But when he gets back home, the ice cream will have melted. Then put it in the freezer. And what if Mom looks in there and finds it? The surprise will be ruined. <sighs> so where won't she find it? I'll tell you where. Inside of your dad's office. I don't see any place to hide it here. There's no freezer or anything. Why don't you take a look inside the box? Here's a thermos, but what good is it to me? Thermoses are for keeping things hot. The ice cream will melt in there. It will not. <sighs> a thermos is made by putting one bottle inside of another. Between the bottles is an empty space, and that's the secret of a thermos. That space stops heat from getting out or in. So if there's hot tea inside, the empty space doesn't let the heat from the tea get out. And if there's ice cream in the thermos, the space stops the heat that's outside from getting in. And that's how a thermos keeps hot things hot and cold things cold. That's it. I'll go and play for a little while. He didn't even say thank you, did he, Nolik? Where are you, Nolik? I'm here! Where? In the thermos! What are you doing in there? I wanted to see that vacuum you talked about. Just don't touch anything. And don't even think of licking the foil. The ice cream's so cold, your tongue will stick to the metal. It's already stuck. What did you say? It's already stuck. <gasps> already stuck? Uh-huh. Try to unstick it. Well, is it working? Yeah. And what if you breathe onto the foil? <sighs> yeah. Hang on, Nolik. I'll go and get Tom Thomas. <sighs> Winter is a wonderful time of year. Holidays, presents, snowballs, skates, sleds. But the cold is also something serious that you shouldn't fool around with. The most important thing is to dress warmly. Cover your head with a hat and your throat with a scarf. Then there's less chance you'll catch a cold or get a sore throat. And to keep your hands from getting chapped, don't forget to wear gloves. And never walk around in wet shoes in the winter. That's a sure way to get yourself sick. And there's one more thing I want to tell you. It's great to have fun in the cold, but use your head. Don't eat snow or stick your tongue on metal fences, poles, or doorknobs. Your tongue can get stuck so strongly to the metal that it will be very hard to get off. I wish you all a glorious winter. Tom Thomas! Nolik's tongue got stuck! Where? In the thermos! Hurry! I'll explain everything later! Dad, you're already home? Mm-hmm. Dad, why are you taking my present? What do you mean, your present? I mean this one. Since when did it become yours? Oh, hi there. What's the fuss all about? Oh, it's nothing at all. I uh, have a huh? surprise for you. I want to wish you a happy Mother's Day. A thermos? How wonderful. Thanks so much. <laughs> Is there something in here? I don't think so. <laughs> Inside, there's a present from me. Vanilla ice cream. 
My favorite. And how did that end up in there? <laughs> Thank you so much, my sweeties. No, like you got me so scared. Thank goodness you thought of turning into a screw inside of there. Uh-huh. Does your tongue hurt? Uh-huh. Do you think you can talk again? I can talk. Oh, that's good. We better hurry. We still need to go and wish our mother a happy Mother's Day. And you should, too. The zipper. Hey, Nolik, look. Why did Tom Thomas go to sleep like that? Maybe it was some kind of homework for one of his classes. Uh-huh. Gym class homework. Good morning. Good morning. Hi there. You're looking good. My parents just bought it for me. Isn't it a cool jacket? And what? You slept in it all night? Yeah, once I tried it on, I didn't want to take it off, and I fell asleep in it. Yeah, life's never boring with you around. Oh, I think the zipper got stuck. And so what? You can leave your coat on no problem. You're about to go to school, right? And you think I could sit in my class like this? How could I have broken the zipper? Don't worry, you haven't broken it. Not yet. Here is a simple zipper. It is made with two rows of small teeth that pass through a slider. The slider has two holes on the top and only one hole on the bottom. When we pull the slider up along the zipper, the teeth grab onto each other and the two rows join together into one. And zip! The zipper is closed. To open it, all you need to do is pull the slider in the opposite direction. Then the teeth will come apart. But on mine, they're stuck together. And now what? What do people do in the morning? Do what they do. Exercise. And I'll have time to think it over. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and, and then four. what about me? Uh, go exercise, too. One, two, three, and four. And one, one two, two, three, three. Four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Simka, come on, think of something. I'm sweating already. Soon, okay? Go get washed up in the meantime. Whew. Do you think I could help you think? I think not. I think you'd be better off washing. How's it going, Tom Thomas? Didn't we think of anything yet? What? Didn't we think of anything yet? Gotcha! Nope, she hasn't thought of anything so far. It's so hot. Just pretend you're a polar scientist. They always work in their parkas. And you know what? I'll be the penguin. Hey, where are you going? Uh, I can't take it anymore. All right, just sit right here, and I'll try to find the problem. <laughs> You see? That polar scientist game's funny, huh? <laughs> That's not it. It's Simco. <laughs> She's tickling so hard. Stop squirming. And you stop tickling me. Aha! Uh -huh. So that's why it won't open all the way. It's only a piece of thread stuck in there. Pull the slider up. You can unzip it now! <sighs> Thanks so much. Here it is! A thread! That's what the whole problem was. You're kidding. So I've been sweating because of some piece of nothing? In technology, every little thing matters. I remember when scientists built one of the first computers around 60 years ago. It was a giant machine. It filled up several rooms and had more than a million parts. It was a technological wonder. But all of a sudden, this technological wonder went kaboom and broke, and no one understood why. The computer just stopped working, and that was that. The scientists were going crazy. They couldn't find the problem. 
Turns out that this huge computer broke because a little butterfly had flown inside the computer and got stuck in between some contacts. Yes, it's true. This huge machine went crazy because of a little butterfly. And that's how it goes. So you see, every little thing really does matter. Tom Thomas, breakfast is ready. What are you doing in your jacket? It's cause I was playing Polish scientist. Hmm. Simka, what took you so long to figure it out? I just, just thought it would be funny to see Tom Thomas do his exercises and brush his teeth in his coat, that's all. That was your plan? Well, yeah. Can I joke around a bit? <laughs> the string lights. We're almost all done. Yeah. Now Santa Claus is gonna come over. He'll say, one, two, three, lights light up the tree. Then we'll get our presents. The real Santa Claus? Yeah, for sure. The real Santa Claus will come to you? You'll see for yourself. He comes to me every year. Okay, so let's practice. One, one two, two, three, three. Lights, lights light, light up, up the tree. tree. Huh? Oh, the string lights burned out. And we don't have another one. Tom Thomas, Santa Claus is almost here. Is the tree ready? No, not quite yet. Oh no, oh no. What are we gonna do? I'll be right back. Tom Thomas, what do you think? Will Santa Claus give you any presents if there aren't any lights on the tree? No way, it's not right without the light. It just wouldn't be magical. Papus, Masia. Santa Claus is about to come to Tom Thomas, but the string lights on the tree, they all burned out. They all burned out? Really? The bulbs in a string light are connected together like a chain with a piece of wire between each bulb. When you turn on a string light, electricity flows through the wire, lighting up each of the bulbs along its way. But if any of the bulbs gets burned out, the circuit will be broken and the electricity will stop flowing. That means one bad bulb will make all of the lights go out. So if you want to fix a string light with a bad bulb, the answer is really simple. Just find the bad one and put a new one in. So do we have a spare bulb around here? I'll get it for you. I know where it is. Tom Thomas, hold up Santa Claus for a while. We need a little time to find and replace that bad light for you. I'll try to. Tom Thomas, Santa Claus is already here. Ho, ho, ho! I got one thing to do. So, let's find the bad bulb. Okay, Papus, let's go. Hmm, this one's working. Maybe this one burned out. Nope. And that? It lights fine. Santa Claus is getting very hot out here. Hold on. Simka, what's up? We checked all the bulbs, but couldn't find a bad one. Huh. I guess this year won't be magical. Okay, Mom, just come on in. Ho, ho, ho. Hello there, Tom Thomas. So tell me now, have you been good all year? Huh, why aren't the lights on the tree burning? So then let's say it together. One, two, three. Ow! Papus, I found one more bulb. Here's the one that's not working. One, one two, two, three. three. Light, light, light up, up the, the tree. tree. Huh. Now we need to replace this bulb with a new one. So where's Masia? Show your light, O oh tree. Hooray! Hooray! Ho, 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 ho. Ooh, that was really hard. I see you already got it shining. But where did you manage to find a new bulb? We got Papus to act as the bulb. Tidish! Tidish! Ah, uh, what a hero. Pull me up so we can put this bulb in. On Christmas Eve. On Christmas Eve. On Christmas Eve. Our spirits light up. 